Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel, Cook with Cassie. Today I am going to be making lemon, gin and ginger marmalade. It's been a lot of work and prep for this, but I am really happy. Let me show you the ingredients. So I bought um, 28 lemons at Asda on um, Thursday, but I actually needed 12. So 12 lemons equal 1,090 kilograms, which is enough. So what I did was I um, got this bowl, soaked the lemons in overnight so it washes all the blemishes off. I woke up and cut the lemons in half and took all the seeds out. I've also now got my food processor and added in 10 lemons each and 177 ml of water each time. And I've um, also measured two um, tablespoons of ginger and I measured 1750 grams of sugar and um, this bowl of water here I had measured two mil of water so I can pulse the lemon in my food processor the tip is to do this hold it spin stop spin stop um, I will be using 80 mil of gin so I had uh, wanted to initially make um, red currants and cranberry jam, but there isn't any cranberries in store. So as they say, if life gives you lemons, make lemonade. But in this sense, I am making lemon gin and ginger marmalade for Christmas. So thank you guys so much for watching each time and um, stay tuned. I just thought to tell you that um, lemons don't have a net gram. Uh, when it comes to knowing what they weigh um, as they sold them for four in a pack for 79p so if you're ever in Asda and wanting to make this recipe guys honestly simply just get the food scales over there and then you know keep weighing until you get to 1090 grams of lemons or a kilogram of lemons that will be the best thing to do um, but um, my other 16 uh, lemons are in the freezer so I'll use them for one day when I want to make lemon curd or something. Yeah, but um, let's power on. Let's get to the next step. So um, I have uh, food processed all my um, lemons. As you can see there, you will get um, pips uh, floating to the top. Just simply get a spoon and take it out like that. So now the rest of the water we have uh, measured, the two mil, Pour it into your um, lemon that you food processed and put the heat. You've poured the rest of the water in. What you want to do is this. You want to turn your heat to the highest, bring the marmalade to a high point. Then you want to get a wooden spoon and find any elusive pips that's left in your marmalade. What you want to do, if you find any pips as they float to the top, Use your spoon to take it out and put it into a bowl like I have here. Then when that's done, reduce your heat back to the lowest. That way your jam simmers for one hour. So after our jam has simmered for one hour, as you can see, there are no other elusive pips in this. Perfect, perfect. So what I'm going to do now is this. I am going to stir in the whole sugar until it is dissolved. That's 1,750 grams of sugar. So take your jam off the heat to do this, okay? Stir it in until it is well dissolved. After, we are going to put it back on the heat, get our food thermometer. I've put the jam back on the heat. I have increased my um, gas to the highest. So now I am going to add the 80 ml of gin and the two tablespoons of ginger. Skills. Now I'm going to stir that in together 
I'm going to grab my food thermometer and cook this jam until it reaches a setting point of 104 degrees. This is the part I love about making jam. Actually, marmalade. I've said jam several times. So, I am proud of this, guys. Hard work pays off. It is currently at 103 degrees. It's so golden and just so pretty. I am so happy with this, guys, honestly. Um, ecstatic is the word in my head right now so hoping to get to 104 keep your fingers crossed so everyone my marmalade is done i have um got my saucer i took out the freezer out to test it if i run my finger through it's done so i can put that into the jars that's it perfect hey guys so i basically made one two three four five six seven eight nine nine jars and two mini ones not bad for a productive morning so i'm off to bake now thank you so much for watching please like subscribe and thank you guys for staying with me on my channel bye